everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider Remastered playthrough. Today we are playing through the Atlantis section and starting off with Natala's Mines. I decided to wear my pinkest, fluffiest jumper in order to counteract the grotesqueness that I have been told is coming up. I have to admit though, I don't hugely mind grotesque, so I'm really, really excited <laughs> to see what Atlantis looks like. So let's just get into it. Oh god, that load screen is gorgeous. Right. Let's swim so we don't drown. Oh, this looks amazing. I can't wait to see this boat. Do they actually make it look like a dinghy? Is it? <gasps> oh, it looks like the Venice boat. Oh, I love it. Can I climb up on this? Why can't I climb up on it? Oh, okay, they will only let me climb up on this bit. I see. Wow. This, this looks, this looks cool. I am excited. Right, so let's focus. Um, I do believe maybe we go here first, but I'll see. I always thought this was so cool when I was a kid that the entrance the way to go was behind a waterfall look oh my god that is such a flippin difference it's gorgeous I love how they made the waterfall and the water look um oh there yeah it's just stunning Every time I take a break, because I only record this every couple of days when I have time in the evenings, uh, but every time I take a little break from recording this and then go back, I genuinely forget how amazing <laughs> this remaster looks and I just get all excited all over again. Okay. Oh my god! Right, so yeah, um, we're in Natala's Mines at the moment and I do have, I have a lot of info on Natala, her mines, Atlantis, all of that, um, but I don't think I'll read out yet. I think I'll play a little bit first and then I'll find a place in the level that feels good to kind of stop. And oh my god, look at Lara. <gasps> She's so beautiful. I love the way she blinks and everything. She's amazing. She's everything I want to be. <sighs> uh, oh yeah, and for anyone who doesn't know, so yeah, we got ambushed at the end of the last level. So our ski on pieces, gone and our weapons gone the the fellas the fellas took them and and yeah lara's not impressed but it's okay she's gonna get her revenge oh, natla's mine looks amazing i oops got caught in the barrel i am really freaking impressed really impressed i'm so excited to see atlantis is it bad that i kind of hope it's really gross <laughs> like i kind of hope it is because it is supposed to be um and i i i just hope that they oh for flip it right that's me getting distracted <laughs> thinking about guts and gore but yeah I hope they kind of just went all out with it and made it like really really icky the way it's supposed to look I I want to be horrified <laughs> cool and we're gonna get this I think I said this in my last playthrough but when I was a kid I was terrified of that medipack because I always thought when I went to take it that this prefab thing would just fall down and, and crush me. Which, to be fair, that would be a very Tomb Raider thing to do. 
very Tomb Raider-y. All right, I'm gonna go, gonna go in here first and just get this done. So, let's try and not mess it up. Whoops. I think I've, I messed it up already. I messed it up. Oh, for goodness sake. No, it's absolutely... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, I did it. All right, I'll take it. That should have been a complete and utter F up, but it, it actually, do you know, it worked out. It was fine. Ooh, oh my God. The, the lava pools on the rock actually look like lava. This is amazing. And they glow. The the lava glows. I love it. I got the sense actually in the comments as I was reading through them. Because I do try my best to read all the comments and reply to everyone. Um, just because I, I genuinely enjoy it. Like I love <laughs> I love having a chat with people. Um that's why I started this channel. But um yeah i got the sense reading through the comments that a lot of people don't like these levels um but these are actually some of my favorite levels i don't know why i just love i love them i love atlantis and i really like natla's mines it's always been one of my favorites i know that's probably controversial but I don't know what it is about it. I just really enjoy it. I love when Lara loses her guns. And you have to work. Work, work, work to get them back. Okay. I think I just pull this over one more. I'm trying to get it under the hole. I think that should be it. Yeah. Sorted. So yeah, I just, I don't know, I just, I love, I love these levels and I love when things like explode and start falling apart and Lara has to make her way out of them. So of course I really enjoyed the last level as well. Always loved that kind of escape portion. But yeah, I didn't realise that so many people didn't, didn't really like these levels. So I was surprised. But don't worry, all you're going to get from me with these levels is enthusiasm because I love them. I love them so much. Um, did I... No, the secret's not here. It's in a different one. Pretty sure. Right, so. That was the boat. I feel like I missed some pickups. Do you think they made pickups invisible <laughs> in this level too? I feel like I'm missing them. Oh well, what can you do? Right, back to the boat. God, this is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying just taking it all in. Okay, just go in the water. Oh, oh, she hit her head, but she's okay. And yeah, I don't know why I'm not scared of this water. Because I know there's nothing in it, but also, I don't know, it's a, it's a nice, like, rocky, waterfall-y water. I don't know, it's just, it's nice. Okay. Go in here. Ooh, those boxes are looking good. The boxes are looking good. Look at Natla's logo. I was going to say Loga. Loga? Logo. Natla's logo. It looks so clear and crisp. I actually do love Natla's logo. She's a psychopath. 
but she can design a nice logo. Okay. So, ooh. Magnums. Mm, and the box, the box you have to pull stands out a lot more in the new graphics as well. So it kind of blends in a bit more there. But honestly, yeah. Original Tomb Raider was really, really hard. So I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily for them to make certain things like that a bit more obvious. Especially, you know, if they're trying to get like some new fans to the franchise or something. I, I think it's a good thing. Because obviously, the more new fans there are and the more popular Tomb Raider gets, the more chance we will have of getting more new Tomb Raider and maybe new classic Tomb Raider. I don't, I don't dare to hope at this point, but maybe. We'll see. These remasters are a promising start. So we'll see what happens. But I'm just so happy to have gotten gotten these remasters, honestly. Right. Why do I feel like there's a pickup here? Am I going mad? I'm probably going to get to the end of this and be missing pickups and be really annoyed. But look, I told myself that I'm not going to stress about it. You know, and by stressing about missing pickups or something, like, ruin the experience of playing. Like, this is supposed to be fun, discovering the new graphics playthrough. So I'm trying not to take it too seriously as well. Right, so we're going to go in here. Pull a switch. Ooh, that light is nice. That was a really cool, like, shiny, shiny kind of effect. So yeah, we're going to grab the switch or push this, pull the switch and then grab the lead bar. Don't know why they had such scary music for that. It really wasn't necessary. <gasps> oh my god, it's so red. Would you look? Ooh, the difference. Sorry, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll tone that sound down. That was very high pitched. Um, oh my god, that is gorgeous. You can actually see see the red of the lava reflecting off the rocks that is chef's kiss chef's kiss i can't even believe it right i can't wait to look at that properly but for the moment we're going back because if you go any further into that room mr cowboy comes out and we don't have any guns so that's not good. <laughs> when me and my family first played this, we obviously like just ran into the room having a look around. And yeah, the cowboy came out and started shooting us and we were running around screaming, trying to think how the hell we were supposed to kill him. But obviously you can't. You can't until you get your guns back. Right. Um, okay, don't fall this time. Nice. I am wondering though how Natla got around these mines. I mean, I can hardly imagine her jumping over that, you know, those ledges and the waterfall and stuff. Could you imagine? Just seems a bit mad, doesn't it? little bit mad. Right, so 
our bar is sitting in there. I'm gonna pick pick these up. They are very well hidden. I wouldn't be shocked if I've missed <laughs> some oozy clips. Nice. Right, so that's all, oh, that is a wall. That's all the fuse things. I was gonna call them lead bars. They're not lead bars. That's all the fuses. So now we can, whoops, put them in here. Oh, I see ya. I don't know why I love this bit so much. I love watching it just like slowly crash down. Boom. Okay. Let's go get our guns. I have no idea <laughs> why either cowboy, bald man, or skater boy put our guns randomly in a prefab that was suspended in the air, but they did. Guess they thought it was a good idea for some reason. Um, oh yeah, secret is up here. Very sneaky. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I love how the lava glows. That is gorgeous. Love me some glowing lava. Nice. You know, I wasn't expecting to be... Is there anything else in here? No. I wasn't expecting to be so impressed with Natla's Mines, but I really am. It's really, really nicely done. Right. Now that we have our guns, Let's go, let's go kill this cowboy and then I think I'll talk a little bit about Natla and, and her mines and, you know, other, other bits and pieces of the story. Right. Let's do this. Okay, Mr. Cowboy, I'm ready for you. Ain't nothing personal. Ah! Would you stop? Shooting us with our own magnums. The cheek. The absolute- oh, that lava looks nice. Focus, Suzanne. The absolute cheek. Whoa! Actually, he kind of looks like Indiana Jones, doesn't he? Defeat the cowboy. Done. 
He kind of did look a little bit like Indiana Jones. <laughs> look at the... <laughs> Sorry, look at the way he died. He's got that like stereotypical cowboy stance. That's hilarious. It's so funny. Right, let me look at this lava because it, it's beckoning to me. Oh my god, it's so shiny. Oh, I love it. It is so shiny. Right, okay. Let's, let's pause here and just go through some stuff. So let's start off just talking a little bit about Natla. So Jacqueline Natla as we know, is the owner and CEO of a company called Natla Technologies. But who is she really? We now know that thousands of years ago, Natla, Qualipec and Tehokan ruled Atlantis. And the three of them are part of the Atlantean race, which are a race of mystical beings, so they are not human. So together, Natla, Qualipec and Tehokan wielded the power of the Skion. And I know a few people told me that it's actually pronounced Scion, you don't pronounce the C in it, but I've pronounced it Skion my whole life and I just can't get used to saying Scion. So I'm really, really sorry. I'm going to keep calling it the Skion. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And yes, they each had a piece of this Skion and they would come together and use each of their three pieces to rule Atlantis. Now, Natla started to grow quite dissatisfied with the direction Atlantis and Atlanteans were going in. At this point, Atlantis and the Atlantean race were actually on the decline. We don't know exactly why that is, but they were starting to decline and Natala saw them as becoming, you know, as pathetic as humans, becoming langering wimps, and she was not happy. So out of this grew Natla's mad desire to start a rapid evolutionary change to improve the Atlantean race. So basically, she decided to start making these Atlantean mutants, which she viewed as being superior to the Atlanteans that were already there. And she thought that these mutants would ensure Atlantis's survival. Natala thought that Atlanteans were not evolved enough to survive in the long term. And so she created what's described in a later cutscene as evolution on steroids, basically. So she decided to speed up evolution so Atlanteans would become evolved enough to survive in this kind of mutant form. So Natala started to use her piece of the Skion to create these mutants. We'll talk a little bit more about the process of creation in the next level, because that's very relevant to that. <laughs> but Natla did start to attack Tehokan and Qualipec. She wanted to basically wipe out Tehokan and Qualipec and wipe out all other Atlanteans. She kind of wanted to reset everything and start from scratch with these mutants. And also, I'm assuming she did want to get her hands on Token and Qualipex pieces of the Skion as well. So obviously, as we already know, Token and Qualipex fought back. They survived this attack and they actually ended up defeating Natla. So obviously, Qualipex and Token were not impressed at all. And again, We'll talk a little bit more about that. We'll see a vision of her trial in the next level. But basically, they weren't impressed. They put Natla on trial. They took her piece of the ski on and placed it in Egypt. And then they froze Natla inside a kind of capsule prison 
that was then buried. So that was her punishment for this, you know, heinous crime. And then unfortunately, as we saw in the vision Lara got, shortly after Natla's imprisonment, Atlantis was struck by a meteorite and again we don't really know why. I don't think there was any reason for it. I think, you know, sometimes the earth I guess just gets struck <laughs> by meteorites um, but unfortunately this meteorite fell and destroyed the city of Atlantis and a few people managed to escape. Obviously, Tahokin escaped to Greece where he established, you know, a little civilization there and Qualipec escaped to Peru where he established the Inca civilization there. So Atlantis is gone, destroyed, done. So flash forward to present-ish day, it's 1945 in the area that has now come to be known as Los Alamos in New Mexico, USA, and they are conducting a nuclear test in that area. And as we saw in the opening cutscene of the game, that nuclear test dislodges and unearths the capsule imprisoning Natala, and it ends up opening and releasing her. What does Natala do as soon as she's released? She decides to take on the first name Jacqueline. So she takes on the persona of being a human Jacqueline Natala. She sets up her company Natala Technologies. It says here that Natala had scientific expertise and cunning which enabled her to set up this company. And she then used her company to secure the resources that she needed to seek out the missing pieces of the Skion. So firstly, she wanted to locate the Great Pyramid, which housed kind of the heart of Atlantis. Again, we'll talk about it a bit more in the next video. But this pyramid is essential to creating these mutants. So Natla needed to unearth this pyramid. So she figures out that when Atlantis was struck by the meteorite, a lot of it was kind of buried under the sea and there are certain islands that have formed where, you know, if you go under them, there are pieces and remnants of Atlantis. So Natala finds this island that we're on now, which is called the Lost Island, and she began to mine and that's where we are right now. Natala's mines, that is why she set up these mines. She was digging through the lost island in order to find the Great Pyramid. And she did. She found it. So she had the base now that she needed to create these mutants, but she needed the Skion to power everything. The Skion has powers that they describe as being greater than the creator himself. So I think they suggest like the Skion has powers greater than God, basically. So yeah, she needs the Skion in order to create life, create these mutants. So Natla, through research and using the resources of her company, managed to locate Qualipac and Tahokan's tombs. So she hired Pierre to go to Tokens tomb in Greece and retrieve that piece of the ski on. And she hired Larson to basically go get Lara Croft, who she knew was basically the best explorer and treasure hunter in the world. Convince Lara to go to Peru and get the piece out of Qualipec's tomb. And then of course she paid Larson to then ambush Lara, kill her and take the piece off her. Oh, and one last piece of info that I forgot. So as we mentioned in the last video, when Lara jumped off the boat to swim to the Lost Island, Bald Man saw her um, jump off the boat into the water. So he, of course, told Natla. So Natla has Bald Man, Skater Boy and Cowboy. Well, not Cowboy anymore, but she had all three of them on high alert, basically waiting 
for Lara to come along um, waiting to kill her. So we, of course, have to kill all them. And also when we do kill them, we get our guns back that they stole, which is pretty nice. Right, let's get back into it. And that is not the right way. Where am I? What am I doing? I'm going over here. Yeah, let's just get back into it. And... get this done because that was um that was a long story time but I do think it was necessary to understand fully um oh my god this looks amazing to understand fully what exactly is going on because most of that information I never ever understood before so I really do enjoy finding this stuff out. Right. God, this looks so good. This looks so damn good. Is that, would you say it's a run? I think it's a run. Run, jump, oh. Well, it was actually a jump forward and grab. <laughs> the game didn't give me a choice. That's okay, that's okay. Whew. Yeah, my voice actually feels tired after reading all that out. That was a lot, a lot of info. Right, is there something gonna, is there something gonna squish me here? Hmm. Look at the ceiling, it's so cool. <gasps> oh my. God, it's beautiful. So deadly and beautiful. I love it. I've always loved this bit, this bit with the lava, now I have to say. I think you can actually jump to this from here. Nice. Awesome. And yeah, if we get this secret, we can get the shotgun uh, a bit earlier than we owe me head, a bit earlier than we would have, which is pretty nice. Oops, ran past. Yeah, some of these pickups are very hard to see. Very hard to see. Oh, I got two at the same time there. Um, What happens if I run down here? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I was, I was just curious. go back this way to get out but also there's some pickups down here as well take this and this oh oh my god she's so bright she's so bright and shiny <laughs> Why is she so bright and shiny? Something's gone wrong with the light and I think. <laughs> right, I think 
yeah, this one's the flat one. I have to line up all my jumps for this. I'm not confident enough to continuously jump it. Oh shit! <gasps> oh, I panicked. I panicked and I died. See, if I just don't panic, then she just nicely lands on the ledge. Nicely done. Okay, oh, I love this bit. This has always been one of my favorite bits. As I said, I love, I love when things go boom. I love when things explode. It's just my favorite thing. So I really, really like this bit. And the TNT always reminds me of, is it Crash Bandicoot where they have like TNT boxes and you can't jump on those or they explode. Something like that. I don't know. I think pretty sure it was Crash Bandicoot. I was never very good at that game though. I always found that way too difficult. <laughs> Right, so I think is putting it here enough? Where am I going? No, I'm going over here. Hang on, I need to push it further. No, we need one more. Okay, this should make make everything go boom. I'm so excited. Right. I don't think there's a ball here. That's a slope. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the green ceiling. Ooh, I like it. I think you can jump on any side. I'll let that go past. Those boulders look a bit like <laughs> when you burn the cheese on the pizza and you can just see like the tomato sauce through the burnt cheese. I don't know. I don't know why. That is the image that I got on my head. <laughs> it just is. And now I really want pizza. <coughs> yes, I do. Whoops. Take those. Okay, so it should have gone. Should have gone boom. Hundred percent I am missing oozy clips along the way here. Definitely. <coughs> Whoops. There we go. <laughs> that's meant to be the remnants of the box it's a bit too much of like a perfect cheese slice shape but it it gets the point across doesn't it <laughs> right now it's time for this fella oh look it's all glowing red oh I love the effects here Right, so we've got to, I better take some life. We've got to take on Skater Boy. And yeah, I just feel like in the 90s and early 2000s, like 
skating was just so popular and everything had like skateboards in it. They even put a skateboard section in Spyro. Always hated those sections, they were really difficult. And yeah, they randomly had a skateboard section in Tomb Raider because why not build an underground skate park in your mine? Why not? Right. Hello? Ah! You're firing at me? You're firing at me? Huh? Ain't nobody else here. You must be firing at me. God, he's so lame. He's so lame, but he's got our Uzis. Excuse me. You're so flippin' rude. Yeah, I'm gonna chase you. Oh, shit! You little... Oh actually completely forgot that I have also magnums and a shotgun but I kind of want to defeat him now with pistols now that I've started it I want to show him I want to show him who's boss because he's so lame he doesn't deserve the satisfaction of making us oh shit no damn you right i'm gonna get him next time i'm gonna get him next time with the pistols okay i don't care how many medipacks it takes i am taking this kid out with pistols because now it's a matter of principle it is a matter of principle. Where'd you- Where'd you go? Come back, you coward. Come back and face me. Like a boy. <laughs> like a skater boy. <sighs> yes! Defeat skater enemy. Yes, I'm firing at you. <laughs> Love it. I'll take those Uzis. Lame-o. Right. Now I'm going to get my pickups. Actually, hang on. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it first. Oh, that felt good. I have to admit. That felt good now. That showed him who was boss. It, did, it became a matter of principle, a matter of pride. Is this the water? Yeah. Okay, let's go in and get this secret then. Whoop. It's a very sneaky secret. You'd have to really be looking to see that. I, yeah, there's more Uzis here. And I think that's it. I think there's only three sets of... Oh, sugar! Yeah, I think there's only three sets of... Uzi clips scattered around... Oh my god! I didn't realise there was a gap there! I would have been so livid if I had died again. <laughs> right, let, let's, let's just get out of here and save it. <laughs> let's just, let's just go. 
Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh shit! Okay, we're fine. We're alive. Eh. Uh. Oh yeah, we climb up. Oh yeah, keep going up. Yeah, we can't pull, so it has to be push. Pulling it would be pointless. <laughs> right. Um, this bit is really complicated. If I remember correctly. I think I pulled this out. But yeah, if I remember correctly, this is complicated. So, try my best to remember. Um, it's something about pushing and pulling blocks. Right. There's a door. Here. Let's go down here. What was that noise? Was that a noise in the game? Or a noise from my lovely upstairs neighbours? I don't know. Right, we can't push that so we'll pull it. Oh yes, and then I think we go back to the first block and push because now there's room with that one pulled out. Yes. Great. Is there a pickup here? No. Okay, so this opened. <clears throat> oh, it's the trick door. <laughs> you can never make it in time. So mean. Much time was wasted on that. Much time. I see it opens as soon as you leave. So annoying. Right, where was that door then? Was that door down here? Or was that somewhere else? 
I don't remember. Where I saw that door. Oh, it was this one. Say cheese. Oh, sugar. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take him out with the Uzis. Hey bald man. Oh bald man is looking well. Compared to that, they gave him a nice a nice coat. Oh jeez. They gave him a really nice coat, didn't they? He is looking great. He's looking like he's in the Matrix or something. <laughs> that is so rude. The way he says scum sucker at the end. You're very rude, but you look amazing. He does. He looks, he looks great. I do, I will begrudgingly admit that. <laughs> he looks fab. Okay. So let's get up here. Oh, sh shice. Well, actually, I should probably say this is, this is the grey, the grey pyramid. Or it's like, it's like the bottom, the bottom of it. So yeah, this is, this, this is the pyramid. The big pyramid that Natla uh, unearthed with her mines. Right, and then just there we go. And I could have sworn there was a pickup in here. But I guess there's not. Ooh, so fuzzy. So fuzzy compared to what we have now. The change is great. Okay, so that opened this. Get this key. And let's stop it. Let's not forget these. Right, and then I think... I think that should be everything. But I've probably missed a couple of pickups, but it doesn't matter. Right, let's go. I'm excited. <gasps> oh, it's so dark and creepy. Let's go. Okay, oh my god, I got everything. So that took an hour. That actually took a while. That took a while. Most of that was, was Skater Boy. I'm going to blame him. So I got 3 out of 3 secrets, 30 out of 30 pickups, and 3 kills. That's awesome. So yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with that. Um, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And enjoyed all the info about Natla. I just found it, like, really, really fascinating. Thank you so much to my amazing channel members. They are Zanir, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael, Malou, Dealey Boy, Jared, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axmania, Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Partington, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock, Jason Hellman, Hunter McDaniel, Carol Profic, Susie Kwan's channel, CB, Brenda, and Denio, Jen the JJ, Binho, and I would also really, really like to welcome the new channel members that we have. They are Sam, Josh Wood, Aceber888, Bill Gilroy, Jojo, and Emerald Raider. Thank you all so, so much for supporting my channel. You have no idea how much it means to me. And I will see everybody very, very soon in the next video. I am so excited to see Atlantis. <laughs>